Good morning, students. In this session, we are going to discuss about air pollution, sources, causes, and control measures. In general, air pollution is defined as presence of one or more contaminants like dust, mist, odor in the atmosphere, which are very dangerous to human beings and plants. And here, I provided a link where you can able to find out some of the places that is uh, severely get affected by the air pollution in India. Causes of air pollution: rapid industrialization, fast urbanization, and increase in human population, the plastic vehicles on the road, and uh, other human activities are major sources of air pollution. The first major disease caused by air pollution is almost the majority of the diseases related to heart issues and stroke. The remaining is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and six percent is lung cancer, and remaining three percent acute lower respiratory infection in children. What are the type of pollutants that is responsible for the air pollution? Number one, primary air pollutant and secondary air pollutant. Primary air pollutant is nothing but the directly emitted from the, from the atmosphere. Secondary is nothing but primary pollutant negative one react with the one another and form the another pollutant that is called secondary pollutant. Here I provide the common air pollutant causes and their effects. First, carbon monoxide. The major issues associated with the carbon monoxide is anemia, cancer, and sometimes when the intensity of carbon monoxide is high, it may lead to death also. And the second pollutant is nitrogen dioxide. It's a reddish brown gas, and almost 50 percentage of the nitrogen dioxide is emitted from the vehicles and power plants. And the major issues associated with this is lung irritation and damage. And the impact of uh, nitrogen dioxide is visibility, acid rain, global warming, ground level also. Here I provide a question tag for you. Is there any tips to control nitrogen dioxide in the atmosphere? Please give your perception. And the third most common thing is sulfur dioxide. Almost 88 percentage from fossil fuels burning, we are getting the sulfur dioxide and 12 percent from power plant industries. And the major issues associated with sulfur dioxide is building problems. Sometimes even it affect the surface of the buildings and cause damage to the statues and monuments. And so on. And third one is SPM. That is nothing but suspended particulate matter. And almost 40% from motor vehicle exhaust and 70% from power plant industries. And the issues associated with the sulfur uh, suspended particulate matter is uh, nose irritation, throat irritation, lung irritation, cancer, asthma, and so on. The next one is ozone. Ozone may get in one direction with water carbonic compounds. And the major side effects of ozone is cancer, asthma, and sometimes it reduces the function of lungs. And here we provided the ozone depletion mechanisms and what uh, mechanism involved in that and how ozone is getting in the direction with the glory. Everything is edited here. And here I provided a YouTube link where you can find the clear picture of the mechanism behind the ozone layer depletion. And some other common and pollutant causes are so photochemical smog. And uh, issues associated with photochemical smog is uh, nose irritation, throat irritation, cancer. And the most toxic metal is lead. It accumulates in the brain and nervous system may cause uh, severe uh, damage to the cells and ultimately leads to cancer. And even in offense of wildlife switch also. And second most toxic material is chromium. It affects the CNS and hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are nothing but benzene, naphthalates, all aromatic ring units, and sometimes aliphatic chain units like alkanes, alkanes, uh, tanks. All of seems to have the carcinogenic effect. And the control measures is use unrelated petrols and uh, use low sulfur petroleum fuels, reduce the number of private vehicles on the road, school, house, restaurants, so these are one of the busy streets, plant trees, the new mountain next and absorb noise. And the second way happens is there's a smoke. It's a mixture of smoke with fog, hence brownish in color. Of more particular forms only during the winter days or last days like London was. Health effects of smogs are it causes uh, irrigation lines, it damages plants, it irritates nose, throats, 
and it also causes bronchial irritations. And it is one of the major secondary air pollution. And uh, it is a secondary air pollution for the big smoke and is normally highly unstable and decomposed with peroxide, ethanol, radical, and nitrogen oxide gas. And it's more stable than ozone. Acid rain. The mechanism involving the acid rain is shown here. And the gases that is responsible for the acid rain is sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides. And the effects of acid rain is more than to get damage on bridges, get corroded. And under some of the British colonies also suffer damage from sulfuric acid and pollution of metals. So these are the major effects of uh, sulfur dioxide, which in turn leads to the acid rain. That's all. Thank you very much.